welcome back to our channel where we explore world of service now and its incredible features in today's episode we will be driving into the powerful realm of service now contract management if you are looking to streamline your contract process increase efficiency and reduce risk you are at the right place so let's get started before we delve into the specifics let's first understand what contract management is all about in simple terms contract management involves the creation negotiation and management of contractual agreements between organization and their vendors or partners it's a critical process that can often be complex and time consuming now traditional contract management method in more often involves manual paperwork spreadsheet and fragmented communication this can lead to misplaced document delays and missed opportunities but fear not service no contract management provides a comprehensive solution to overcome this challenge one of the standard feature of contract con- service no contract management is its centralized contract repository so you can store all your contract at one place with all your contracts stored in one place you can easily access search and review them whenever needed no more hunting through files cabinet or digging through countless emails right creating contract can be cumbersome task okay but not so, not with service now with its intuitive interface and pre-built template you can quickly generate new contract plus you can configure automated workflow that guide you through the entire contract life cycle for drafting and to approval negotiating contract terms can often involve back and forth exchange with stakeholders simplify service now simplifies this process with this collaboration tool okay you can track changes and comments and involve multiple parties in real time discussion so say goodbye to version control headaches ensuring compliance and managing risk are crucial aspect of contract management service now contract management comes equipped with robust compliance tracking feature you can set up alerts for key dates monitor milestones and receive notification where contract terms uh due to review and so on okay so without wasting further time we will jump into the basics of contract management in the service now we will see how a contract is created okay what all modules are available for the same and then we will be seeing how we can see the overview of all the contracts which is within your organization so as you can see on my screen this is my personal development instance uh what do you have to do uh, in the filter navigator just type contract and we'll get the application for the same okay and it has tons of things it's overview my approval and if you look into the contracts it has module one is the all okay which shows all the contract within the organization and then we have a segregation for the contract so the contract may be of type insurance lease maintenance non disclosure purchasing agreement purchase order serv- service software license subscription warranty terms and various so on so this kind of uh, contracts can be there okay uh so let's create a new contract first of all we go to the all and let's see how the contract looks like so this is the list view for the contract okay and as you can see the most important thing is like contract number okay what is the contract number what, which is the vendor for your contract okay name of name of the contract when it gets started when it get end what is the state so there are two things state and sub state we'll be looking forward for the same when we'll be creating a new contract okay so let's get started and let's create a new contract so i will click on new to create a new contract and the first and the foremost thing what you have to do is define what kind of contract model you want to create okay so if you click on this it shows the segregation in different categories so as you can see uh the contract came maybe of insurance lease maintenance nda and it is non disclosure agreement right purchase agreement purchase order and so on right so let's create um what we want to do let's create a service contract what service contract defines is like if you are uh, if you are using service from some vendor right so that for example if if some some company is providing a uh, support to incidents okay l1 l2 incidents so all the service agreement are dra- drafted into service contract then we have to define the vendor what vendor we have who will be applying this contract to so let's 
select anything so let's take from apple let's take service contract from apple pretty nice right then we can give any number so why they didn't specify a specific number right because the contract based on the vendors and based on the partners okay the contract number may vary so they have made it an open string field so let's make it as as a demo one two three this is a contract number okay i will copy this out the name is like uh, apple service contract Okay, so in the model, the contract assigned to, for example, lease, maintenance, warranty, and service, all those things we can do, right? Okay, then after that, we have parent contract. What parent contract defines is like parent contract of the new contract if applicable. Okay, you can select parent contract. For example, there can be a parent contract and there can be sub child contracts also, right? So, for instance, we don't have it. Then we have start date. So, I will give the start date for tomorrow. And then we have to give the end for the same. So I will give it on 21st. So this is the tenure in which this particular contract will be active. And you can see currently the stage, this draft, the substrate is awaiting review. So state may be, or state defines the life cycle for the contract, right? So state may be draft, active, expired, or cancelled. Okay, these are the four steps, uh, state. And if you will talk about substrate, so it can be awaiting review as you can see on the screen under review approved or rejected perfect then we have contract administrator okay so we'll keep it blank for now okay and then we have approval so we'll not give approval at this particular point of time just just we'll keep all the things this business owner and all this empty we'll go to the financial field so financial fee, we have invoice payment terms. So basically the terms that explain how to pay the contract, right? For example, net monthly account, okay, or net 30, something like that. So I will, I will, I will give net 30, okay. Then payment schedule is like what schedule will be following, whether it's a monthly, annually, so on. So it will come over here. Then we have payment amount. What will the agreed payment amount? So I will just give three. $2,200 for now. Then applicable tax defines whether a tax is applicable or not for the same, right? So we will get exempted total cost. If if you add tax, right? If you add sales, then if you add, you can add percentage of tax, right? So for example, for 200 rupees, the, if we put the effective tax rate as 7.75%, it comes 15.50% of 200 and the total cost will be 215 then okay then we will have vendor account okay so vendor account is the account number po number and cost center cost center is very important right so which cost center it belongs to so for example let's go for customer support because we are taking service service to do then we have renewal so what renewal defines is like what will the renewal option once the contract when should the contract get renewed and what should be the options during the renewal, right? So if we look at the options, we have one year renewal, two years renewal, three year renewal, right? So we'll keep it one year, renewal start date will be, let's keep it 30, end date, and you can give on. Got adjustment type, fixed manual, CPM. These are on the financial terms, right? So we'll keep it fixed only, and so on. And then we have terms and condition. So you can, as you know, whenever you, you define any contract, it will have some terms and conditions which will be defined by a partner or vendor, right? So that terms and condition you can define over here. So let's select a, some predefined terms and condition. Probably it will have. So let's go over here. And I will go standard India. Okay. And now we'll save it out. Okay. Contract inserted, it's in star draft state, awaiting review, okay? Now, if you click on this build terms and condition, right? So it will extract the content from that document and put it on on your, on your page. So for example, if I click, if I select the standard NDA, now you, if you want to get the extract for it, right? So just click on this build terms and condition out of that 
doc and as you can see it has it has pulled all the information from the doc and just co incorporated it in, on this particular contract so if i try to submit this out for review now it will probably not allow me because we have not provided the approval for this contract right and the state is draft itself so if i go for submit for approve so select and approve to review this contract perfect so in order to review this contract a person should have a contract manager role or admin role okay so let's select an approve so these are the people who have the contract manager role so i will select that and delete okay and i will submit it for you okay as soon as you submit it for re review right so as you can see the state is under review okay and the state is draft so what we'll do let's impersonate with path okay path angel so first let's check whether the approval got generated for for it or not if you scroll down we can see we can see the approval history in approval history it got triggered to Beth and Jill. At the same time, let me explain you what are the related related list also for the thing. The child contracts will hold all the child contracts. Okay, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Expense lines will be what expense line follow this particular contract, right? Location covered is like if, for example, a contract maybe a geographical diversion can be there, right? One contract, for example, for India, it will be different. For US, it will be different. So that location, what location it covered? it will be give you over here user is like if it's a user based contract right so you can define what all users are covered as a part of this contract if it's a group you can give group if it's asset you can give asset if it's cis you can give cis offering so you can define what all things this particular contract is dealing with okay and then we have sls what are the sla agreement for the same right so this is pretty clear let's go and i will just impersonate so let just impersonate the path percent user come on it's taking so much of time okay now we have impersonated a path okay now let's do one thing i will go to all contracts and in contracts there is my approval one i don't want to see this dashboard i will go to my approvals and you can see there is one contract that check created this particular one i have yeah service contract so let's just approve it out i can see the information okay this looks good this looks good okay and i will just approve it out so as soon as i approve it out let's just and the impersonation hmm and we'll go to history demo contract why to navigate through that and now you can see the substrate is approved the state is still draft why right you must be having the same question because it has a trigger you, you can see right what we have defined that the contract is getting started from 12th right but today is 11th that's the reason it getting started as soon as it reaches the start date okay it 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 will get triggered okay so basically how exactly it works at the back end so we have a scheduled job okay defined on contract table okay and basically what it does uh, it get executed every 
midnight okay and it will take care of all this contracts and what all needs to be done right so let's do one thing in order to move it to active right now let i will move the date to today's date so i will go to go to today so it's 11th i'll save this out and now as you can see it's got active right so currently is active and always keep in mind in contract date and subscript is always read only okay so now our contract is active okay now as you can see on the top we have couple of option you can either update the contract adjust the contract cancel the contract renew the contract or delete the contract so let's see how this option works okay so if you want to update the contract okay what all things you can update because the sorry for this if i go one step back so if i click on update so because we are not updating anything out right so you can update the contract if you are changing certain things out whatever will be or what editable right so if i make it contract as then you can update it out right so that's one thing the other thing is adjust so what are things you can adjust so if i click on adjust so you can adjust started and ended if you want to extend if you want to make the um make the con uh, adjustment with respect to end date you want to combust in the date or you want to extend it out you can do over here or you can um uh, change the amount also and if you do submit the adjustment it will again go for approval okay then we have option to cancel the contract which will cancel the contract out okay then we have renew if you go to renew it 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 will give you option with respect to the renewal we have seen the renewal tab right so you can do the modification over there and then we have delete one right so these are the options which are present and you can see on the workflow side also how exactly it works the the interesting thing what we can see if you want to see the entire picture how the contract management works in the organization right what all contracts have you have what is the state of your contract what is about to expand so on and so forth right so if you go to contract and if you go to this overview module so it's a dashboard okay which gives complete insight of your contract management module So if you see, you can see active contracts by vendor. What are the active contracts based on the vendor group by vendors? Okay, is there? Then what are the expiring contracts? End of this week, no contracts are getting expired. End of this month, two are there. End of this year, two are there. So you will be on on a alert zone when when this particular contract will be about to end. Okay. Then we can see contract expenditure vendor on which particular vendor. So as is the vendor. on which the highest expenditure is done right then assets the next as a apple and so on we have contract list and so on right so you can get the completely complete as a uh, 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 complete overview from you okay so you can keep an eye over here so if i click on this end of this month so it will keep what all contracts is going to end within 30 days you can see the expiration within 13 days right so this is how um, contract management helps okay um so that's wrap up for today's episode on service now contract management i hope you found this overview helpful be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting service now content don't forget to leave your any questions or comment down below until next time Stay tuned and stay productive with service now. Thank you.